Hello everyone, my name is Chirag and I represent Crowdfund Junction. So guys, we are gonna move ahead in our airdrop series and the project which we are going to focus today is Zulu Network. I'll just show it to you. So this is the web um, Twitter page of Zulu Network and you can see in their description that it says that let's move Bitcoin forward. Zulu empowers the Bitcoin economy with BitFi dApps and limitless Bit, Bit, BTC native innovation. Uh, I'll also show it to you, their Discord page. So yeah, here it is. This is the, their Discord page. And you can see, you can just join their Discord page and go for more information if you want to. And I strongly suggest you should disc join their Discord page because you would be needing to be here to claim the faucet every day you have to come here as you can see there are a lot many people and you have to come here every day and claim the faucet so without wasting much time let's move ahead you have to go on zulu.network you can see this is the website testnet you can just click over here on their twitter page itself but what you would be needing is you would be needing a metamask or any evm compatible wallet or or even uh, and a BTC wall BTC te testnet wallet which is Unisat in this case this is the test account so let's see there are different tasks you can see <laughs> first is the registration process you will be getting 200 points for it and it's one time served you have to come over here daily sign in you have to use the Zulu faucet I've shown you how to use the Zulu faucet you have to come over here and you have to write at Zulu testnet faucet and after that you have to copy your metamask wallet wallet address and paste it over here <coughs> other than that you have to make some transferring transactions i'll show it to how it's done you have to make some bridge you have to swap on adam swap and you also have to provide some liquidity on adam swap so let's move ahead how to get it done so first is I, i'll show you how to swap on adam swap so you can just click over here and you can see that there is a link mentioned over here so once before that before moving forward i want to mention that once you take the faucet from their discord you will get you will be getting 50 points for it it will be refreshed itself if not you can just refresh the web page and it would be happening by itself so without wasting much time let's move ahead so you have to go on this particular link click over here you have to make some swaps so you can see you can earn a maximum of 300 zulu zenesis points per day and for each swap you would be earning 100 points so you have to make a th you have to make three different swaps you can also make one but i also i aim for like getting a maximum points so yeah so for three different swap you would be making 300 points so yeah the wallet's connected if not you can just connect your wallet from the top right there are different pairs you can see over here so let's say i want to swap my sats into any other token let's say turd i'll select max i'll add instead of this zero one insufficient liquidity not happening it's a hit and trial you can you can try for different pairs insufficient liquidity again for rats also it might be insufficient liquidity so let's go to mice but we don't want to convert all of our sats into this so i'll just convert 2.09 rather than 0.29 just click on swap don't try to make any editing in the metamask especially in the target prices especially when it's on the testnet because the transaction won't be completed in that case so that was first success so you have made one swap come back over here and if you refresh the page let me show it to you here you got you can see you have got two, 200 points but it should be 100 i don't know why it's showing 200 again you can swap to different let's say i want to swap my zbtc to zulu I'll select max, I'll add one more zero ahead of it. It's 
it's a bit uh, it takes a bit of a time but it's not very hectic it's an easy job easy testnet to work with but again it's time consuming but anything that that is making you free money could is time consuming especially in the blockchain sector and let's say i want to swap my some not sats some mice to my sats you can select any pair but many of them are not working as of now i'll just do it with 3 fade i'll try it again fade so it it's this particular swap is not going to work i'll swap my sats to some zulu again it's a hit and trial you have to try with different pairs but try to do it with different pairs as much as you can success so i've completed three different tasks i'll come back over here i'll click over here and see you can see that it has it is marks as completed so the next task we are which we are going to do today uh, which we are going to do after this is swap we have to do it on adam swap itself we have to provide liquidity so on adam swap you can see th there are different pools you can add liquidity or you can just go on the information section you can click on pools and there are different pairs on which you can provide liquidity so let's say i want to provide liquidity in per this particular pair but the important thing is you should own those two assets in your wallet so, approve it continue you have to approve the transaction it's approving you can see over here you have to add the liquidity confirm the transaction fail no problem you can try it for different pair let's say i want to swap try it for, i have already added in di in different pair so i'll just move over here i'll click max i'll do it for 013 i'm just doing it to save time because i don't want to wait, waste much time in making the videos you can try it with different pairs as well because these three pairs are certainly working the ones on which i have already provided the liquidity so just to if you want to see it's sat zulu zbtc against zulu and sat mice just come back because you have already swapped just come back over here click on refresh and you can see the task is completed other than this you have to make some bridges you have to take some faucet from the discord so to take the faucet you can just come over here as i already said that add zulu testnet insert your wallet address and to get some btc testnet faucet you can just go on bitcoin testnet 3 faucet.com coinfaucet.eu it's not working like you can try it it sometimes happen it the website doesn't work but most of the time it's not down and other than that you can just come over here you can see that you can create a support ticket and you can ask them to share tbtc faucet tokens and after that just paste your wallet address of of the unisat wallet you own and it's it ha it it happens and they would be making they would be sharing the faucet with you i have been doing it for past 3 4 days and it's happening and they are sharing the faucet other than that you have to you can see i have already done some transactions i have made six different transactions especially in the swap section and the liquidity provider section so other than that you have to come over you have to make some bridges and this is what the most important part is you'd be get, you'll be earning 1500 points per day and 150 points for each task so this is the most important task and you can also see there is a leaderboard you can come over here and there are people you don't have to enter the invite code that's why i have not mentioned it there is the invite code but there, it's not necessary to mention and you can just check your ranking and everything you, your ranking would appear over here 
just go back to quest and you have you still have to make the bridging just go on bridge over here you have to make it from bridgecoin testnet to zulu or again or like you can do it vice versa as well you can make the transaction from bitcoin to zulu or from zulu to bitcoin i'll be making one for from each side to show it to how it's done to you so let's say i want to make it from zulu to bitcoin so in this case the amount i want to transfer and i have to enter my unisat wallet address let's say i want to transfer 0. 1 satoshi and after that i'll be copying my wallet address from here and i'll be entering it over here just click on withdraw it will ask you to sign the transaction It's done. You can see in your MetaMask, the transaction is happening. It's already been sent onto the blockchain and it's confirmed. So one transaction has been confirmed. You have to do it 10 different times. So you can do it from Zulu to Bitcoin for five times or from Bitcoin to Zulu for, and again back from Bitcoin to Zulu for five times. Or you can do from Zulu to Bitcoin any like for 10 times or from Bitcoin to Zulu for 10 times. It's all up to you. I'm just showing you how it's done. So we just did from Zulu to Bitcoin. And in the other case, if we want to send it from our Unisat wallet to our EVM compatible wallet, just change the network over here. It will ask you. Just paste the amount. Again, one Satoshi. This time you have to enter your ERC20 compatible wallet address which is my metamask wallet address paste it and make the transfer you have to again sign in uni unisat wallet and it's fast you can see the transferring happening and it's done you can do it for like you can just enter different amount like for first time i sent one satoshi this time i'm sending two satoshis Next time you can send 5 Satoshis, 3 Satoshis, whatever you want. So that's all I believe for this video. You have to do it for 10 different times. In front of you I did for 3 times. Maybe in the, in the later day I will be doing it for 7 more times. But I believe that it is a very good project and they are bringing interoperability between BRC20 wallets and EVM compatible wallets. So the project is good, in, good very good in itself. Other than that, I believe it's a very easy task. It's, it's surely it's time consuming, no doubt about that. But it's something that can easily be done. It's not something that is going to require a lot much time of yours. So I believe that's all for this video. Keep on grinding and it's a daily task. So the task refreshes after every 24 hours. So I believe you, you can come on this platform every day and get all these tasks done for yourself. So that's all for this video guys, uh, keep shining, stay connected with us and let us know if you need any help from us as well. You can reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. So keep shining, have a great day people. Crypto products and NFTs are unregulated and can be highly risky. There may be no regulatory recourse for any loss from such transactions.